Hey guys, today we talk about grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are one of the most common insects around, but few of us know much about them. Despite their ubiquity, grasshoppers have some pretty interesting secrets that you probably don't know about. In this video, we'll explore 10 unknown facts about grasshoppers that will surprise and amaze you. From the incredible sounds they can make to the ways they protect themselves from predators, you'll be amazed by the fascinating world of grasshoppers. If it's your first time on our channel, hit the subscribe button for more interesting videos in the future. So let's get started. Fact number one, grasshoppers and locusts are the same species. When you think of grasshoppers, many probably remember childhood chasing grasshoppers across the fields. On the other hand, when you think of locusts, terms like plague and famine are more likely to come to mind. The truth is that grasshoppers and locusts belong to the same insect order. While certain species are commonly referred to as locusts and others as grasshoppers. Both creatures are short-horned members of the order Orthoptera. Fact number two, grasshoppers have ears on their bellies. The hearing organs of the grasshopper are not just on the head like in humans but on the stomach. There are a few membranes that respond to acoustic vibrations. This simple eardrum allows it to hear the sounds of its surroundings and the calls of other grasshoppers. Even though their ears can't distinguish between different frequencies, they can tell if there's potential danger or food nearby. To further aid with sound detection, most grasshoppers have long antennae which amplify sound waves. Fact number three, grasshoppers can fly. Grasshoppers are also an excellent flyer because they have such strong jumping legs and are known only for their long leaps, people sometimes don't even know they have wings too. They use their incredible jumping ability to catapult themselves into the air at massive speeds, where they then use their wings to fly a few feet. Fact number four, a grasshopper is a nuisance. A grasshopper alone can do little real harm, even though it eats about half its body weight in plants every day. But when grasshoppers band together in huge groups, their feeding habits can completely defoliate a landscape, leaving farmers without crops and people without food. In 2006, researchers reported an earlier study that estimated that locusts and grasshoppers caused $1.5 billion in damage to forage crops annually. Fact number five, can you eat grasshoppers? People have been eating locusts and grasshoppers for centuries. They are a fixed and very important part of the local diet in many regions of Africa, Asia and America. Grasshoppers are made up almost entirely of protein, making them a nutritious snack. It is estimated that 100 grams of dried grasshopper contains more than 68 grams of protein. Not only that but they also contain healthy amounts of iron, calcium and phosphorus which can help with proper growth and development. If you like the video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Fact number 6, how long have grasshoppers been around? Today's grasshoppers are descended from relatives who roamed the meadows before the dinosaurs. The fossil record shows that primitive grasshopper species existed as early as the Carboniferous period more than 300 million years ago. Extremely old locusts have also been discovered as fossils. Fact number 7, how do grasshoppers make their sounds? Most grasshoppers stridulate to produce the distinctive ornamental pen. Stridulating simply means rubbing their hind legs against their forewings. Special pins on the inside of the rear legs act like a kind of percussion instrument, especially when they hit the wings. Grasshopper species also sometimes flap their wings against each other to produce their calls. Fact number 8. Why can grasshoppers jump so far? If you've ever tried to catch a grasshopper, you probably know how far they can jump. If we humans had the same jumping ability, we could easily jump an entire soccer field. But how can these insects jump so far? Your hind legs are responsible for this. A grasshopper's hind legs work just like miniature catapults. In preparation for a jump, the grasshopper slowly contracts its large flexor muscles and flexes its hind legs at the knee joint. A special piece of cuticle in the knee acts as a spring, allowing it to store all the potential energy. When the grasshopper relaxes, all energy is released and it is catapulted forward. Fact number 9, can grasshoppers spit? If you've ever been able to catch a grasshopper, you might even have had them spit some needed liquid on you. Scientists believe this behavior is a means of self-defense, and the liquid helps the insects ward off predators. If you have been hit by the liquid, there is no need to worry. 
It is not poisonous or dangerous to humans. Fact number 10. Grasshoppers can do too much harm. Locusts cannot do too much damage when they are alone or in small groups. Although it consumes about half of the body weight of plants every day when they swarm there. Behave changes and transformation of loners phase in the sociable phase their combined dietary habits can completely defoliate a landscape a kilometer. A swarm of about 40 million locusts consumes roughly what 35,000 people consume at a time today. A swarm the size of Paris eats just as much food in one day as half the population of France. So far so good. If you like my video, then please leave a like, write a comment, subscribe to the channel and share the video with others. You would support me enormously and you will never miss a video again.